Hey, let's go into a completely different topic, but guess what? It absolutely involves uh, AI. So here's the backdrop. So PLUS is a software provider for vehicles and trucks for ADAS and, and L4, okay? And we have been, uh, we've had them on the 6.5 Summit. Uh, both of us have written uh, articles uh, about them. But they just announced a major deal with uh, one of Europe's largest um, trucking, I'll call it uh, conglomerates called uh, Trayton. And uh, key messages are this, right? Um, the top five OEMs, truck OEMs, have declared partnerships uh, with PLUS. And that's that's I think pretty important, and these are you know these are folks like um, Amazon, DSV, Bosch, the Tier One, Tier Two, uh, Luminar, uh, a company that we're familiar with, uh, Nikola, uh, Aveco. These are the ones that are just uh, public. But I think what this does to me is it gives plus it gives me an element of 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 permanence. Okay. Uh, because not only are they shipping L1 and L2 solutions into Aveco, Nikola, Bosch, Luminar, Amazon, and DSV, unlike their competition, Aurora, Torque, Kodiak, and, and Wabi, who they skipped over L1 and L2 and went directly to uh, L, uh, L4, right? Now, we haven't necessarily seen a lot of action. We've just seen a little bit of action uh, from uh, Aurora with Amazon uh, with, with L4, but I'm interested to see in the future what uh, Plus can uh, do here. You know, ironically, Dan, you know, we covered the disaggregation play that Plus did where they disaggregated uh, the different elements uh, of their platform. So, for instance, you know, uh, an Intel. Uh, could could use them for a certain uh, piece, but uh, this solution that I'm talking about with um, um, uh, Trayton actually is an integrated uh, solution that that comes in, which to me was ironic because I was expecting this announcement to be about disaggregation, but it was about uh, an aggregated uh, solution. Anyways, that's that's what I got here. That's it. That's it, baby. All right. So I, I just had a couple, you know, had the chance to talk to their uh, chief operating officer, Sean Kerrigan. Uh, definitely a great week for the company being able to announce effectively that two of the um, major five autonomy, uh, you know, platform uh, trucking companies are going to go with Plus, Aveco here. And then, of course, they were able to land uh, Trayton. Uh, which you know probably Navistar is the brand that more people would have known historically. Yeah. Um, it it is a big moment, and you know we're looking by the end of the decade. You know we're going to see a lot of of autonomous trucks. You know I come from a family; it's in the trucking space. It's funny. My dad didn't believe it would be in his lifetime. Um, dad, it's going to happen in your lifetime. It's happening in your lifetime. So. This is moving very quickly. Effectively, we got sort of three different solutions. You've got totally turnkey, which is what the Daimler approach is. And then you've got the approach that's sort of hardware, software aggregation plus OEM. And then what you really have with plus is pure software. So it's purely focused on software. The hardware and the truck building is left up to the partner. So that's kind of how the three companies split and create the value add. So. They're, they're building block focused and their building block is software. That's where they truly believe they're able to differentiate. Um, you know, you look at the TAM, you're talking about a, a market that's got a trillion plus dollars of TAM in the, uh, the self-driving trucking space. It's big. It's a big opportunity. Um, of course, that's all in. That's hardware, software, and truck, not just the software itself. So plus, obviously, can't capitalize on all of that, but it is... It's meaningful. And again, this is directionally really good for the company, which is going to likely need to raise more money. Um, you know, at some point, it's either going to make another big raise. Maybe it'll go IPO if enough scale. But having these right partners, having these right OVMs, having, um, by the way, a, a West and an East win with 
Triton being a West win for US, Europe, and then of course, Aveco in China, they really have an opportunity to, to get meaningful saturation into all these different markets. And that's, that's important. And then, you know, it, it's strength and invalidation that they are best of breed software. Now, you know, with two of five, one's doing it all in house. So of all those that are going to be outsourcing the software with Aurora and others, 50% of them have picked plus. So strong, good win, good moment for the company, Pat. And we've ridden in one of these. I mean, we didn't ride in the L4 ones yet, but we've been in an autonomous truck with a with a, an experienced one of these with an L2 plus uh, driver participation. It's pretty cool, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna continue to change the world. Yeah, like uh, like what the company's done, they have uh, separated this out themselves from all China uh, activities. Uh, that Aveco is actually uh, in Europe. Um, and I think it's smart now they're the software arms dealer to the West for trucking. And by the way, uh, cars, we haven't seen a car announcement yet, but I am expecting that in, in, in short order, you know, I'd like to see, uh, the company partnering with all the platform, uh, providers, uh, out there, you know, interestingly enough, the, uh, the ones that I, I listed, uh, for, for arm and. I know they already have a partnership with uh, with NVIDIA uh, on the uh, platform side, but uh, I'd like to see, uh, you know, announcements, platform announcements, uh, very similar to the one, Daniel, you know, we saw with VMware with private AI, right? It's like VMware, private AI for NVIDIA, right? Uh, I'd love to see, um, you know, the plus capability for Qualcomm, for Intel, for AMD. Yeah, you know, a company like AMD needs a company like Plus like crazy, right? Um, I, I AMD is is kind of, I mean, they're in Tesla uh, through Xilinx, right? They're in some uh, key safety systems, but AMD is a company that that needs uh, what Plus does, and then Intel, who has uh, cast off uh, Mobileye and uh, came up with. Uh, Three new SOCs for the car uh, also needs uh, companies like uh, Plus uh, to do that. I'd like to see some integrations in there uh, at, as well, and not only on the on the processing platform because you know life is is more than that, but also on the um, on the actuator side, right, uh, and the sensor side is is where you need that.